once upon a time, when the Lake Victoria was created, the fishes went there first. Then the probes followed, and they grew there. And then crocodile also went, snakes also went. Outside they were hippos, buffaloes, but one day fire came and swept the shores of the Victoria. And the hippo ran for refuge into, into, into Victoria. Having reached there because of his size, he said, now everybody under me, you are all hippos. <laughs> The tilapia said, I cannot be a hippo. You can obviously see. I'm not a hippo. Say that you're a hippo. You're still growing. <laughs> According to the hippo, even a total is a hippo. <laughs> Sir, the so-called referendum is ridiculous. NRM comes to power, ties the hands of the multipartists for nine years, breaks up their meetings, rushes them, harasses them, and then says, we go to the referendum. Who is so stupid I not to know what we are talking about? The story of the doctor, that, do, that the doctor takes somebody who is alive to a mortuary, has been told many times. But I want to say that unfortunately, the doctor himself is a patient. Vidani <laughs> 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 says NRM has been leveling the ground by stopping others from participating, <coughs> stopping others from addressing rallies. The ground which he thinks is level, the roughest political round I've seen. <laughs> Sir, the referendum is exclusive. It is says that during the time that the movement is in power, the parties must go silent. Otherwise, they must go silent. When the parties are in, in, in power, then the movement must go. We are saying let an M come and stand with us. If they win the election, which they should win because they say they are perfect, they are no sectarian, they are no stolen money, <laughs> then we will support them for five years. After five years, we go back to election. We provide for this. Katurabe, Katurebe, told us listen to the people, listen to the voice of the people. Yeah. I'm speaking for the people of Maruzi. These are people, they're not cows. <laughs> you know, it's difficult for some of us to understand why Katrebe to say we should listen to the voice of the people. In Akko, they used to call their king Rubabanzi, the ruler of the whole world. To Munyankore, Ankore was the whole world. <laughs> So he thinks when I'm speaking for Maruzi, I'm not speaking for the people. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, I have heard with a great surprise the statement made by my friend, long-term friend, Honorable Bidani Sali, who attacked the legislators from Acholi for not doing much to stop rebellion in Acholi. And this has been hard on. You attacked all of us. But the truth is that the responsibility for maintaining law and order is that of the executive, not the legislature. The, leg 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 the executive must account to the legislature, to parliament, if they have failed. If these people undertake the work that Bidan Sali wants them to undertake, then they cannot be accounted to. They will become part of the operators. So that was unfair. If NRM has failed to control the rebellion, let it say so. Then Bidan Sali decided to threaten us. The very honorable Bidan Sali. Honorable. 
<laughs> decided to threaten us. He said, in America, if you join a, 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 the Communist Party, you lose your rights. And those who will walk out will be treated like the Communists of America. I want to say, loud and clear tonight, that nobody will intimidate me in submitting into the forces of evil. I stood against the colonial power and I never submitted. And nobody is going to intimidate me or buy me into submission.